our eye on the traffic and weather together. Sally joins us first. What can we expect outside today? It's wet and it's really chilly, so you're going to want to wear several layers today and make sure you've got that rain jacket. We're switching over to on and off showers right now in the valley and everything fairly light. The issues on the roads really are when you head into the higher terrain, the Cascades and east of the mountains where snow is coming down. This morning, temperatures in the 30s with chilly showers up and down the valley. Snow level in general right about 2,000 feet, but we are seeing snow even lower than that out toward uh, cold. Fulton and Estacada. This afternoon, 44 degrees are high, wet at times with cool temperatures. It'll feel like a chilly day with mostly cloudy skies. And then this evening, the skies will clear, cold temperatures settle in. And so we'll have to watch for ice early tomorrow morning with the moisture of today and uh, sub freezing temperatures overnight. It's 39 at PDX right now, 38 in Salem. East of the mountains, below freezing between Pendleton, Baker City, and Burns, sitting at 35 degrees this morning. Here's a live look at Mount Hood Meadows. Where snow has been falling tonight, 6 to 12 inches possible. That's a little optimistic, probably more along the lines of uh, 5 to 8 or 9 inches of snow up there today. You can see the light rain showers here in the valley. Highest elevations of the coast range seeing snow. We're also getting snow up in the Cascades and the foothills. East of the mountains, this pink indicates uh, freezing rain. So potentially very slick conditions along that I-84 corridor and snow coming down for La Grande, Granite, and Long Creek. And because of all that winter, Winter weather east of the mountains. We've got watches and warnings galore. Let's check them out. Pink right there. That's the freezing rain advisory until 10 o'clock this morning. Two to six inches of snow by uh, four o'clock tomorrow morning in the lower elevations of central and eastern Oregon with four to eight inches possible in the mountains. The bulk of that snow, the vast majority, comes late afternoon and evening time. Winter weather advisory on I-5 as you head through the Siskiyou. So if you're going to California or you have guests coming from California, count on winter driving today and especially the first half of tomorrow, and then we get sunshine after that. Also, far eastern and southern Oregon under, win under winter storm warnings and watches. So the responsible area of low pressure is going to dive south along the coastline. So eventually, this rain and snow is going to taper off. The rain will taper off first west of the Cascades this afternoon, and the snow will continue east of the mountains until very early tomorrow morning. And then cold air, sunny conditions move on in for tomorrow all the way through the holiday weekend. So let's take it hour by hour. 8 o'clock this morning, you'll notice how many holes there are in the rain. So we do get dry time in the mix west of the Cascades this morning. East of the mountains, just scattered snow showers, and then everything really picks up by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That snow really coming down east of the mountains. Meantime, just a few spot rain showers west. By 9.30 tonight, skies are clearing west of the Cascades and scattered snow showers wind down by early tomorrow morning. And then, hey, hey, look at all that sunshine we can look forward to for Wednesday and Thanksgiving. So it's going to be cold, but it will be sunny at least starting tomorrow. Today along the coast, wet at times, mostly cloudy, highs in the mid-40s. Cold showers up and down the I-5 corridor with mostly cloudy skies, highs around 43 in McMinnville. Snow showers increasing this afternoon east of the mountains with winter watches and warnings in effect and highs in the 30s. Through the gorge, rain showers west, potentially some slick spots as you head east and also up in the uh, upper Hood River Valley. So we'll be watching that. 34 the high today at Government Camp with a winter weather advice there in several inches of snow. Here's your extended forecast. Really quite simple after today. Sunny, breezy, and chilly. Overnight lows in the 20s and daytime highs in the low to mid 40s. So, Carly, how's it doing?